Coastal real estate has always been at high risk when it comes to flooding. But despite the possible dangers, a new report shows a demand for water from properties is rising. Our Sunrise reporter Victoria Balderrama goes in depth to show us why some are still interested in buying waterfront property despite the risk. Good morning. Well, for most people, buying a home is the biggest investment they'll ever make. So why are more people choosing to buy homes in these areas? As they say, it's all about location, location, location. Yes, I've got a fascination with boats, and so this was a, a good way to have the boat here uh, in my backyard. Lynn Frazier got what he wanted, living in North Beach near the canals. FEMA requires homes in these areas be elevated to at least 13 feet above sea level. We stayed here in the house during Hurricane Hannah, and uh, the, the water came up about four feet. According to a new report from real estate company Redfin, the cost of homes in coastal areas that are more prone to flooding have gone up around 14% this year. Dr. David Yaskowitz is the senior executive director at the Heart Research Institute for Gulf of Mexico Studies. Everything suggests that there's going to be more intense hurricanes into the future. So why are more people buying at higher prices despite the risk? A CBS News report shows people with high incomes can afford to pay for extra measures like flood insurance and the cost to move homes onto stilts. And the Redfin report backs that up, showing one to two inches of water entering your home can cause at least $25,000 worth of damage. That's why if you have a mortgage for a home in a flood zone, FEMA requires you to have flood insurance. Porter Rands' realtor Melissa Haladnik says she sold 38 homes in the last year, mostly vacation homes in flood-prone areas. That area closer to the beach is actually called a velocity zone, and so your insurance could be even higher based on if you're in that velocity zone. That includes areas like the Beachgate Development and Pelican. You'll see homes that um, ha have paid that little bit extra and got high impact windows and doors, which means you, you don't have to board them up or have hurricane shutters on them. The Redfin report also shows Corpus Christi is fifth on the list in the country for cities most of risk of substantial flooding. The flooding that comes from those tropical storms. So, you know, we have to take that into account. And also because we're a coastal city, the issue of sea level rise over time so whether you are in a high risk zone or not, FEMA recommends people look into purchasing flood insurance because most regular homeowners insurance policies don't cover flood damage. To see the full report from Redfin and more information on how you can protect your home, visit our website, KRISTV.com. Reporting in the studio, Victoria Valderrama, Chris 6 Sunrise. Thank you for that, Victoria.